much better. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, Sondermarkin, and I am finally back for some more Kerbal Space Program. Sorry about the long delay, I just got really, really busy and then just fell out of the habit of making videos. And so, I have a long, cool video for you today. As you can see, it's going to be dealing with space shuttles. So, when we're dealing with space shuttles in KSP, it doesn't quite work the same as the real space shuttle. I'll show you right here. I have a, a similar uh, a space shuttle similar to the one here on Earth. It has two SRBs, which I'm just using the rockets for that because... I want more SRB time. Then it has a big fuel tank, and then it has the actual thing, and then I put rockets on both of them. So let's launch this puppy. And it's glitched out a little, FYI. Okay. We're gonna launch in three, two, one. Launch. Now this actually flies pretty good, um, as long as all of its fuel is full and it's in thick enough atmosphere. Let's turn it this way really quickly, and there we go. The one other cool thing about the space shuttle design as we're, as I'm just giving some time to do this, um, is you can land actually quite easily on the water. Like, it's, you, you just come down, and, um, slowly, uh, you just slowly come down and let it barely touch the water, and that will explode, I know this will explode first, and then that. The canards sometimes come off, but this, the main part of it will actually survive. Which is cool. Um, but yeah, the day of this recording, though, is the day that uh, the uh, Expedition 31 astronauts and cosmonauts came down to Earth. Which is cool, it's because they're a really, really good bunch. They had a flawless landing, a pinpoint landing. Like, they landed on the ground, and within five seconds, a eight uh, all-terrain vehicle was right there, and as you can see, another flaw about this is those start causing it to. There's not enough surface to be able to make it. There's not enough uh, atmosphere to let the control surfaces work. So we'll just continue going up here, and we'll see what I can do. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Come on. But, and see, this is the other problem. This tanks start emptying, and so it makes that lighter, and so it just makes everything hard. Yeah, I didn't really put a lot of investment into making those look good. So right now, we actually have a pretty good apoapsis. And we're just cruising along. The problem is, is that our fuel tank is going to run out pretty quickly. Let's check back here. How about let's go and uh, go more into the future a little bit. And now you guys are wondering, I thought this video said high powered space shuttle. Well it does. This is not high powered space shuttle if you didn't notice. Because we're barely making it up into the, the, above the atmosphere and we're probably not going to be able to make a good orbit. The high power space shuttle is to come. Don't worry. This is just me showing off a um, Earth-like space shuttle. Oh, we actually will make an orbit. I am actually surprised. Cool.
There we go, we actually got a proper orbit. Let's actually make that a proper orbit. There we go, a proper orbit. With fuel to spare. Let's just make that go right there. Well, not very much fuel to spare, but enough fuel to spare. So we'll leave Carlson and Corim and Jim to just float up here. And I'm going to show you the high powered space shuttle. Right here is the shuttle number two, version two, because this is high powered, but this is higher powered. Do you want to know why? The difference is, is the amount of SRBs. <laughs> I added two more SRBs on this one. But do you guys want to see this launch? No, why don't you want? Of course, you do want to see it launch. Okay. Um, <laughs> Let's launch this puppy. And what I'm going to try to do is um, go for or, or an orbit of Minmus and then come back. Does that sound good to you guys? Good. Um, I don't know if you guys actually answered me, but we'll go with that. So here we go. Three, two, one, launch. As you can see, it's a bit slow on getting off the pad because there's a lot of fuel going in there. Because I have all these right here, which aren't doing anything. But it will start accelerating quickly. Well, right now it's not. It's actually losing. Somebody messaging on Steam. Fast forward to the uh, this to the uh, separation of this. Okay, bye. Okay, here we are. We're about to do our separation. We're up at 70. And there we go. We have all these going. Those. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah. We never retracted the landing gear. There we go. <gasps> it's floating. Yeah, the hitbox is kind of odd on here. Um, but yeah, we'll just create a um, orbital trajectory on here. And then we will... Go out to Minimus. <laughs> but yeah. So this is high powered because we have all of this fuel available to us. Why is it? There we go. And as you know, I like to have a lot of fuel available for my rockets. Because it makes it nice easy to fly well, when you get to where you're wanting to get and so I will fast forward until we get an orbit and this is cool looking yeah there we go we have an orbit and so let's see where's Minmus it's right there. Let's aim for right there on the orbital plane. So I'm going to fast forward here until we hit right here. Okay. Well, never mind. Um, and this travels quite slowly. Let's see what we can do. We'll just go straight for it. Adjust the, um... 
Yeah, we can, I can adjust it. So let's go south when we hit this para-apsis. Because, well, when we hit right there. Because that's, uh, I'll do another video to show you how to actually do transfer burns and how to um, change your orbit like that uh, and that fun stuff because some of you have asked me. Um, but that is for another video. That's north right there, and so let's go south. Oh, whoa, I accidentally hit shift. Okay. South it tis. And let's start pushing. Hmm. <laughs> Not exactly what I wanted. And we'll just go straight up for it and see if we can get it captured by its orbit. Yeah, I think I screwed some stuff up. Oh well. With the new prediction system, it's actually not that hard to get over to um, Minmus and that thing. Like, Minmus would be nearly impossible. Well, not impossible, but it'd be a lot harder to land on miss without this new prediction system. And that's actually, I actually got this shuttle out of the um, carbon orbit. One moment. Yeah. What? You what? What about it? Sweet. And here we go, I'll fast forward until a point where it's actually interesting. Okay, here we go. We're going to now try to go north. See if this works. If not, I completely don't understand my burns, and I have to learn. That works. <laughs> South. There we go. Ah, uh -huh, it's close enough. And we'll fast forward. Um, dang it. We're going to slow down. Go, 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 go. The reason why we're going to slow down is we want to get closer to the uh, sphere of influence faster since Minmus is actually traveling quite quickly. So I'll slow it down. What you're seeing flashing up on the screen are um, are the prediction um, orbital uh, sphere influence transfers. Oh, see, I have um, I actually went into the settings, you know, with Trident to Live's tutorials. And I changed the settings to give a lot more prediction. There we go. We have available capture. I've been running on, I've been uselessly taking care of those engines. 
So here we go, we'll just go into the capture. One of those two things fly by us. <laughs> and this capture is going to go quite quickly, so... Oh, so sorry about that. So sorry about that. That was a cell phone going off. See, there we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to burn a lot of speed so we can come down towards the um, planet. Well, not a lot of speed, like escape velocity for um, minimizes. Not that fast. Especially where you are, like, I'm literally on the edge of the sphere of influence. There we go, we're going to go right up against it, so let's watch that number, bring it down to, like, there we go. We're going to do a flyby, and then we're going to head back home. Oh, sorry for hitting the mic. Where's Minimus? Right above me. <laughs> the big huge thing in your face. There we go, there's a nice flyby. Whee! Well now I'm going to, since I'm at the parapsis, I'm going to go try to hit escape velocity again. That wasn't hard. Um, and then <clears throat> let's head out. Rolling out. And we still have good fuel. Whee! And there we go. We're almost out of the sphere of influence. And there we go. We're out and about with no doubt. And it looks like we're actually going to have another orbital um, hit. And as you notice, I have this, which is the one I own. I have that right there, and it even predicts the next one. Because I have it predicting, like, I forgot, like, nine times. Like, it goes and sees how many orbits it is. You can actually go into it, try to live, did a little thing on it. If you want me to, I can also do a thing on it. It's very, very, very useful in my opinion. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to stop our orbit. We're actually traveling quite slowly. And we're going to bring the paraapsis down to, um, let's bring it down to 40,000. Because what that will do is it will let the um, atmosphere do the work for us and slowing us down. That was a bit too much. 36 is a bit too much. Because I want to land at the landing strip back at... Kerbal Space Center. Uh, there we go. Now a bit too much the other way. Okay, let me see if I can just... There we go, 40,000. Let's start our descent into carbon. We... Falling. And there's the moon. Okay. Well, since it'll actually slow us down to warp 2 because of the fact we'll be, enter we'll be actually entering the atmosphere. Whoa. 
And as you can see, our apple house is starting to fall. Be it little for now. Let's find the Kerbal Space Center. Kerbal Space Center. That's why it's nice always, always like you take uh what you do is you um get the you get a um one of your ships and then just whoa just land it on the side of um your uh one of your places there and you can uh find it easier than just having to look for that continent you know what I mean, you, ju you just like go land it in a field right by the space center. Where's north? There's north. Uh, come on. And what I'm doing here is I'm trying to get my orbit back to a normal flat-ish orbit so I can um, easily come in line with the Space Center. Easierly. Good English, me. Actually, we can do a, um, we can actually probably just, no, we want to wait till day. So what we'll do is we'll get out of the atmosphere, we'll bump our, um, parapsis up a little, then drop it back down after space center is in the sun. See, we're now in space. The final frontier. No cliches here at all. And we'll just bump that up a little bit. Like to, uh, We'll just bump it all the way up to um, 70. Because that way we can stay in a more fast forward -a -did -did rate. Forward -a did it. <laughs> and if you did see, I do have actually a jet engine on this thing. That's so I can actually go and land at the Space Center. Efficiently. Ooh, I wish I could have had that Dawn Splashdown. That, not Splashdown, but Dawn Landing. That would be... It is a beautiful sight, even if it's not with the best graphics in the world. It still is fun to watch. Okay, this is time. It tis the time. <sighs> retro burn aligned. Retro starting three, two, one. Retros are firing. Now, in this case, since I decided to wait a little bit before it, we're going to be coming down pretty darn steeply. Which is bad. But, we don't have much choice. There's the landing strip. And here we go go. Why am I doing it that way? No, I don't want it that way either. I still have a little fuel left to help me when I'm actually in the atmosphere. Now getting close. Come 
on. Now I'm going to start doing a total retro burn right along that point. To give me the ability to uh, slow down a lot of my velocity. This is not going to work out well. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Yes, now I need to get on my other controls. Now, if you don't know, I actually am not using a joystick. I'm using the keys. I've had lots of experience actually using the keys, and uh, I can't get my joystick to set up separately since it's a complex joystick instead of just one of these simple ones that you usually get. Um, did anything break off? No, it's just wanting to go to the side. Why is it wanting to go to the side? I don't want you to go to the side. I don't like it when you go to the side. Okay, come on, turn. Turn, Bessie. Turn. Well, we're actually going to try to get it up to, um, from not going straight into the ground, and then we're going to turn. And we're going to want to turn pretty quickly. Because turning quickly will, uh, because our fuel isn't unlimited. And we have to get all the way over there because of my lack of planning. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. No, 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 no. No, good. Didn't blow up. The reason why I'm going up now is um, what it does is it gets to thinner atmosphere, which makes it um, faster and more fuel efficient ish. I don't know. It just makes it faster because I'm bored. Um, <laughs> well, no, I, I'm not bored, but you know what I mean. It like makes it so I don't have to wait here for ages. And uh, let's get the uh, it going back up again. There we go. And yes, I do know how to use um, precision control. Just to prove, like, look. Blue means precision control, red means regular. Precision control is turned on with caps lock, for those of you who don't know. And also, I am trimming, which you use alt and the direction you want it trimmed. I think shift alt, alt shift, no, alt x. Oh, no. Something, something puts back to normal. No, go up, go up, go up, go up. So far we're doing a K on fuel. We have two of these fuel tanks and it's lasting a long time. So we'll probably make it back without blowing up. Hopefully. I'd prefer not to blow up. Blowing up sometimes feels bad. Just sometimes, though. Uh, one thing that I wish was also in the game is... <clears throat> sorry. Um, one thing that I wish was in the game was um, atmospheric prediction. Meaning, when we're in orbit and we uh, dip into the atmosphere, um, it's start showing the effects of that in the next orbital plane. It will make landing a heck of a lot more um, predictable and things like that. 
I also wish you could actually um, see where Kerbin was at that point in the future because we don't have um, windows available to us. Like the space shuttle, it lands using windows. Not meaning the windows in the front of it like that. No, I mean windows of entry into the atmosphere to land in a certain amount of space. Now the space shuttle ha has to be able to land at an airstrip. It has a small window but that window is increased because its ability to maneuver but it still is pretty small but like with the um, Soyuz coming back its window um, to be able to make a pinpoint landing that's um, an amazingly small window to be able to do that so yeah oh, that's not going to do Um, but yeah, space is fun, get Kerbal Space Program, yada yada yada, whoa, tumble, 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 tumbling not good. Uh, and this is like how the space shuttle does it, right before it lands it goes into this steep dive, so far I'm way off center, compared to the runway. And I've actually flown the, uh, I'm not kidding here, one as an intern at NASA. I flew the space shuttle landing simulator. That space shuttle landing simulator has had every single space shuttle pilot uh, be trained in it. It's actually pretty um, brilliant. The system. Um, it's a it's a <laughs> and it looks really good and um, it actually taught me a lot about landing the space shuttle. I actually. Not to brag here, actually, it, to brag also, um, kind of to brag, I actually landed the space shuttle the very first time I got into it. I think I'm a natural flyer, I guess, because the first time I went into a, um, like a plane simulator, I landed the plane, and it was supposed to be a really hard plane to land in the simulator, as the Learjet, um, I um, landed it my first time. Okay, we're coming down. Flaring. Bam, wheels touch. Front wheels touched. And a perfect landing at the Kerbal Space Center. Everybody, um, if you liked it, Give it a like. It it shows me what you guys want to see. Uh, if you if you really liked it, favoriting that that that, that supports me. Definitely put stuff in the comments of what you'd like to see because I look at those and I take that into consideration. And also, if you want to see more, because more will be coming down the line. In fact, my, uh, one one of the future projects that I've been working very hard on. It's gonna be amazing. Um, but yeah. My name's Sonder Markin. I will see you guys next time. Badoo.